Andre here and finally welcome to the most important DDT for all video I've ever done. <sighs> okay, in this video we are going to uh, activate the race mode in the Arling 2 in the multi-sense. So in our Renault we are able to have the race mode which is a mind-blowing multi-sense mode because we will have the ESC deactivated, we will have the throttle pedal response in race mode so it's very responsive and some other cool stuff. Uh, the, um, the unlucky part is that this will work only with Arling 2 version 7 to above so if you have the Arling 2 uh, version uh, 3 or version 2 I'm sorry but this uh, won't work first of all let me say a big thank you to Ignazio and the Renault Megane for passion group Italy on Facebook because uh, without uh, without these people it wouldn't be possible to for me to make all these tutorials so please go and follow the uh, Facebook group called uh, Renault, uh, Renault Megane for Passion Club Italy. I give you the link in the description of this video and you will see also a banner above here uh, right now. And uh, another important thing, please uh, subscribe to my um, Telegram account, uh, which is uh, our link to parts and accessories in which I in which I'm providing in these days and in uh, other days I'm providing a lot of uh, discounts uh, of uh, about uh, Arling 2 and Renault stuffs uh, I'm finding on Amazon and other services so if you like please follow and also as I said follow the uh, Facebook group Megan for Passion Club Italy okay okay guys we are ready and let's start with the video Okay guys, so we are ready to do this uh, important, uh, and I bet very important hack uh, on the Arling 2 interface and uh, the multi-sense especially. So first thing to do as usual, we open the DT4 all. Okay, then uh, I know that I, I can arm my car if badly used and blah blah blah. Okay, then we select as usual the uh, Wi-Fi wi -Fi connection and we connect to the car so as i said before uh, there are uh, several steps to do is not the easiest uh, uh link to and the dt for all uh, tutorial i've uh, i've done but uh, if you follow my steps uh, it will be all right okay so first thing as usual we have to select the car as i said uh, this uh, will work uh, on every car that has the multi-sense uh, function so you should you must have sport uh, neutral eco uh, personalized uh, and comfort on the multi-sense otherwise it won't work so uh, it's important to do to have that so uh, now we, we we or you have to select the car uh, as usual I select the Megane 4 XFB double click so the first parameters we have to modify is the um, here we have to go in ABS ESC double click on it once again we have to wait a few seconds to no we have to wait a few seconds to uh, load the, the ECU and um, as I said in other videos don't worry if uh, the ABS uh, if the ABS light will blink in the in the, in the display but uh, no no worries because it's normal and then after that we have to go in uh, uh, parametrage double click or open and uh, we have to go in ECU configuration Okay, in ECU configuration, double click, wait a few seconds to, to load the ECU. Now, we have to find the, uh, we have to find here, this one, is the ESC orientation, okay? We have to select uh, uh, ESC orientation configuration 3, okay? This one, very important. Okay, once we've done that, uh, click on the Einstein face and then write the configuration in the ECU wait a few seconds and then check in the right part of the of the software if the modify has been done so config 3 config 3 okay so we finished the, the we finished the um, ABS uh, part now we have to go in here which is uh, BCM UCH double click on this 
or open then we have to select the last one which is cmf1 bcm ddt 11 double click double click once again and we have to go in mmi so we have to select and find mmi which is uh, uh, in the middle like i guess here this one mmi open it and click on configuration double click wait a few seconds and then we have to find uh, this parameter which is sport mode cf which is sport mode configuration and also in this uh, don't worry if you see no data somewhere but uh, no, no problem and uh, select sport mode configuration is on false and we have to first of all click on the Einstein face and then watch which is one this and go here and select true so we have to modify this one please pay attention to not modify other values because uh, you maybe get very in trouble so this one and then send the modification wait a few seconds and see that it's also true in here so we activated the sport mode configuration okay so this was the first part now we have to go into the R link 2 so we have to modify also the um, the visual interface of the R link so we have to go in uh, audio okay select red nav 3.3 .3. I guess wait a second because I have to remind it yes we have to go in red nav 3.x 3.3 double click on it double click once again here and uh, wait to the ECU to open and uh, we have to go in configuration oh, double click and uh, ECU configuration part 3 double click now the most important part is the first one which is configuration so the important part of this uh, ECU is the first one which is the configuration and we have to uh, use several parameters which is uh, change exclude time we have to modify and set to 22 then we have to uh, leave uh, as they are the max presence max presence we have to stay normal default mode uh, normal system mode system mode table one max mode max mode table one so these are not uh, going to uh, be modified we have to modify the next ones which are uh, start mode we have to select uh, uh, previous okay uh, exhaust sound uh, exhaust sound sound uh, not present because uh, we don't have the megan rs so <laughs> unfortunately we don't have the uh, the valve on the exhaust system and then we have to modify throttle pedal we have to modify to present so sorry to present okay these are the parameters that needs to be modified on the key uh, on the uh, configuration part and uh, this was the first one and uh, after we done after we done that uh, actually we have to do uh, we have to click this to do the hack okay okay and uh, it's not important now to do the key on off reset because we we have to do later on because we also have to do another uh, we have to, we, we, we have to change another parameters in the in the uh, our link to system so it's um, it's it's only it's only one time needed the key on off reset so now we have to go to modify the other parameter and then we do only one uh, key on off reset the other parameters we have to modify it's in the ECU configuration part uh, uh, sorry red nav configuration 1.1.1 1 .1, so double click on this and we have to go here we have to select and modify the CF car type we have to change this to RS and uh, <laughs> it seems very cool actually uh, but we don't have the Megane RS unfortunately but <laughs> for uh, at least uh, on the Arling 2 we have the RS and uh, the driving mode will be the race one so uh, okay uh, Einstein face and uh, write the configuration even in the red nav okay once we change this and we saw by here it changed to rs we have we are ready to do the uh, key on off reset because if you 
never done that uh, I remind you that the key on RFZ uh, lets the uh, R-Link 2 system to shut uh, lets the R-Link 2 system to shut down and restart uh, in a uh, in 15 or 20 seconds so click on key on off reset and you will see the Arling 2 system shut down for uh, 15 or 20 seconds but don't worry because uh, once uh, it uh, rebooted we have to do another <laughs> another little uh, reset which is the hard reset of the of the system but if you followed my other tutorials you already know what we are talking about Okay, sorry for the music and now the soft reset uh, has been completed and now we have to do the hard reset of the system let me open the light and we have to click on the we have to push the uh, on off button for five seconds go one two three four five uh, six seven maybe a few seconds until it uh, shuts down Okay, now this is the hard reset, which is uh, not uh, you don't cancel any you don't cancel an, any data. It's just a deeper reset of the of the system, and it allows uh, the system to load the the modified we 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 did. So basically, the the part with the the DT for all is closed. Uh, it, it's uh, it's over. So we sh we can shut uh, we can shut down the we can shut down the, the computer and the software and now we are only waiting to see if um, if uh, if the modify has been uh, has been completed so we have to wait a few seconds okay now the system is rebooted so we are ready to see if uh, we have the uh, race mode activated in the in the multisense so first of all we have to turn the system on okay sorry for the music as usual okay now if we ah uh, get me rid of this if we click on the eco button we should have the multisense and now we have the megan rs as you can see not the the the, the usual megan and now we have the race mode if you click here we can select the race mode okay the race mode actually uh, it's the old eco mode so unfortunately you will see in the dashboard now you now I, I don't see it because I deactivated it but if you if you have the uh, multi-sense mode activate here you will see eco mode unfortunately <laughs> written because uh, this is not possible to change it but uh, we can change the color to uh, to red Okay, so it's more it's more like the, the race mode and uh, unfortunately those parameters cannot be changed so uh, you cannot change the you cannot change the uh, ESC you cannot change the 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 uh, motore it's uh, the engine so so the throttle uh, the throttle response and also the throttle pedal it's uh, it's set to race so it's the maximum performance and uh, you can only uh, change maybe if you want the the sound of the of the engine made by the loudspeakers and uh, this is it so we we activated it i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the the um, the hack and uh, as usual be be sure to follow my my be sure to subscribe to my to my channel and also don't forget to subscribe to our uh, megan 4 uh, facebook group which is the the best group in in which you can find a lot of tutorials as uh, as the one i i'm making for for you on youtube so be sure to follow my my youtube account and also the and also subscribe to the to the um, facebook group and also uh, be sure to follow my uh, telegram account which I link you below in the description because uh, we have a lot of uh, discounts on uh, Arling 2 and Renault 
uh, parts and accessories. So thank you guys, it was a pleasure and uh, see you next time. Bye!